Hello everyone, welcome to our data science project presentation. We are the group that named Charmander. Uh, in this project, we have tried to, um, we, we, I mean, we mainly discussed about fuel efficiency in the cars. We only used the auto MPG dataset, which includes nine basic attributes of the cars. In order to understand the correlation between the attributes of the cars, we make the dataset suitable for the functions that we will use. Thereafter, we did data visualizations, some subtasks, and predict the MPG with using linear regression method. Uh, introduction to this project. Before buying a car, we should check the miles per gallon to see the fuel efficiency of that car. Although the attributes of any two cars is highly similar, the MPGs of the cars may be very different. Our motivation to choose this dataset is to understand the correlation between the MPG and the other attributes of the cars. It is an important topic because MPG of the car that we will buy greatly affects our fuel cost in long term. When we have a look at the attributes of the dataset, it consists of nine attributes, MPG, cylinders, displacement, horsepower, weight, acceleration, model year, origin, and the car name. Most of the attributes are clear as their names suggest, but origin attribute may cause confusion. Origin attribute takes three values, which is one, two, and three, it shows that the car's country of manufacture. For example, it shows USA, Japan, China, respectively. Besides our dataset, it has 398 records. That's quite enough number to do predictions with processing your data. You can find the auto MPG dataset easily from the Kaggle by searching auto MPG dataset. Then you can download the CCV file by clicking download button and see the data that we are going to analyze. First, we imported the libraries that we are going to use and then load the OTMPG dataset with using the pandas library. This is our dataset's first five items. Before analyzing the data, we need to learn the column types of the dataset. As we can see in the state types, we should change the object to float or int at the horsepower column. First, we can check if there are any null values in our dataset. As you can see, there is no null values in any column. We check the horsepower here because it had values as object. In this table, we have six cars which have question mark horsepower value. If we haven't changed the values of the horsepower to plot, some of the functions that we are going to use doesn't work properly. So first we change it to none, then plot. And now we can see that horsepower is a numerical value as well. This is for filling the NAN values with the mean of horsepower. We are replacing car name with brand and model. We are splitting the car names into two columns. When we check the brands, we can see that some of these are named wrong. Like Toyota and Toyota. In this section, we fix brand names as well. We are fixing Volkswagen with Volkswagen, Toyota with Toyota. Now it's much better. In this section, we can see the top 10 most efficient cars. We can make a few assumptions with these four cylinders means of, we can make a few assumptions with these four cylinders means more efficient. The cars that came out 1980 had better fuel consumption. Volkswagen was better at creating cars with less fuel consumption. We can describe the data to get an idea about dataset. 
As we can see from the histogram of MPG, the data is moderately steep to right. This implies that the, there are more number of cars which have low MPG than those with high MPG. Let's see the MPG efficiency over the year. Now, let's have a look to other properties like acceleration, cylinder, displacement, weight, horsepower, and the origin. As you can see, we made we made some arrangements here. The origins were one, two, and three. To understand clearly, we have changed the origin values with uh, country names like USA, Japan, and China. This is no. These are temporarily. These are temporary names. We didn't change the data set. It's just for understand the origin clearly. And these are the count of the car according to the brand of that car. In this table, we can see that in our data set, there are more Ford and Chevrolet. After all, we need to look at how the variables are correlated with MPG. This can give us a rough idea on how MPG varies with each of the given variables. We can see that some of them have negative correlation and some of them have positive correlation. And in this code section, we are creating new X data frame without MPG, brand, and models. And creating new Y data frame only with MPG. In this code, we are trying to predict the MPG value. In this linear regression graph, we can see that our predictions are quite close enough. And our linear regression accuracy is 82%. And this is not the best score at all. These are predictions. To see, to see the predictions and original values clearly, we have made a graph. You can see that actual and predicted value. It is really close. 14 and 12, almost 13. 25 and 23, and etc. Now we are talking about results. After we have analyzed the data, we can see that there is a pattern with this data. Usually most of the cars have four cylinders and they are top they are top tier with MPG. Weight of a car has the most impact on MPG. People tend to buy their cars from the brand Ford. The most efficient way, efficient year was 1980. And after that, with the data we have, we can see that it decreased next two years. Finally, with linear regression method, we, we are able to predict MPs, MPG values. As con conclusion, main fin findings of this method are cylinders, displacements, horsepower, and weight are inversely propor proportional to MPG. While acceleration, modal year, and origin are directly proportional to MPG. 
That means while inverse the propositional ones are increasing, MPG is declared decreasing. But while direct the proportions are, are increasing, MPG also increases. And most related variable to MPG, as you can see in the graph, the, is weight. Uh, main obstacle of this project is what we do, what we do not know, some of the cars horsepower and it is shown as question mark. So we calculate the average value of average value and change question mark with it. To sum up, we learned that MPG may depend on many features of, of a car. Therefore, we should consider the features which are highly co correlated with MPG before buying a car. Thank you for listening.